Hi everybody, it's Ricky Heller from RickyHeller.com. I help people on restricted diets learn to love their food and live well without feeling deprived and without giving up the food they love so you can focus on healing and just getting back to doing all the things you love to do. So today I want to talk a little bit about the holidays which are upon us and I've been talking to a lot of the people in my group Healthy Eating Made Easy about you know how are we going to navigate the holidays what are some of the things that trip you up and a lot of people are asking about sweet treats so the question is can you still enjoy all the sweet treats at the holidays and not mess up your special diet as in whatever your dietary restrictions are for you and my feeling is it depends why you're eating them so if you go off and you know you're going to be attracted to all those sweets what is the reason behind that and I think there are basically three reasons why we tend to be drawn to foods that we know intellectually are not good for our bodies are not good for our health are not good for our future so the first one is just physical imbalances and so if you have chemical imbalances because your nutrients your fats carbs proteins or chemicals in the body are out of whack then you might be drawn to eating foods that you shouldn't be eating and that you know you shouldn't be eating. So a perfect example is for a lot of young women at a certain time of the month when their menstrual cycle is at a certain place and hormones are elevated, they crave things like chocolate. That's quite common. Or even um, one of the things you might have read about is magnesium deficiency because chocolate, cacao, contains a lot of magnesium. That's one of the explanations why people might crave chocolate. So when I first started an anti-candida diet and all I'd been eating was junk food and mostly carbs, <laughs> everything was out of whack. So of course I was craving certain things because I was so out of balance. So physical is the first one. The second one is just habitual. In other words, automatic behaviors that are habits that we don't even think about that are so ingrained in our lives that we're not even aware sometimes that we're doing them. So you might find that once you're in that setting, this is something that repeats every year at the holidays. I'm with these people. I'm in this setting. I eat all these sweet treats. And I know for me, the context is so important. It happens to me when I go back to my family's house in Montreal because that's where we used to bake and eat all the sweets and all that stuff. So you get this urge just based on being in that situation. So the solution there is to change the, the situation, right? You can change the context. Then the third reason is emotional eating. And so again, this one applied to me too, so I had them all. Um, that's where you're using food to try to deal with certain uncomfortable emotions. So if I reach for chocolate every time I'm stressed, or I reach for chocolate every time I'm angry, or every time I have a spat with my husband, or every time somebody cuts me off in traffic, whatever it may be, then that's an emotional reaction because instead of dealing directly with the emotions, I'm reaching for food. So the question is, if you're reaching for those sweets at that time, what's going to happen? How is that going to affect you? So let's take that final scenario because for me, you know, the physical is balanced. Um, most of the habitual is doesn't even exist anymore. But I am still working on emotional eating. It took me a while to realize <clears throat> when I first started an anti-candida diet, and everything was balanced physically and I was still craving 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 the sweets all the time there was another reason and it was emotional so I started working on the emotional eating and that's a work in progress right I'm way better than I ever was before in my whole life but I wouldn't say I'm a hundred percent so let's look at that scenario what would have happened when I first started the diet if I had some emotional trigger and I just said, okay, well, you know, I need this ice cream to feel better, or I need this chocolate to feel better, and I had gone and eaten it. Well, that would have really wrecked my anti-candida diet for sure, but it also would have caused all kinds of repercussions in my health and my symptoms, and I would have had a relapse, and it just would not have been positive in any way going forward. And so instead, what I did was I created sweet treats that were compliant with the anti-candida diet and I had those instead so you know some of you might be saying okay but you still didn't solve your emotional eating problem and that's absolutely true if I look back to the very beginning back in 2009 2010 whatever I probably wasn't even addressing the emotional eating problem however to me that seems a better solution 
because no matter how many of those sweet treats I ate, and in the beginning, I could have eaten like a half a batch of black bean fudge in, or in a day, right? Like I made a batch of black bean fudge, it was gone in two days because I was feeding those emotions, particularly at the beginning of an anti-candida diet where you're so stressed out about the diet, everything's new, you're wondering if you're ever going to be normal again. That's a really stressful time. So for me, there was a lot of emotional eating going on then. But one thing I noticed that happened was over time, as you live with a balanced body physically, you begin to crave that less and less just because of that part of the equation. And then you have time to work on that emotional eating. So what I'm saying is, if I hadn't had those sweet treats that were ACD compliant, I probably would have gone to the Mae Wests, which for those of you in the U.S. is more like a, um, uh, a, 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 a one of those cakes. I, I, I The name eludes me now. It's one of those famous little cakes that you buy with the white chocolate and uh, with, uh, with the chocolate and the white frosting. So we call them Mae West in Canada. So anything like the Ding Dongs, the Twinkies, all that kind of stuff. I would have definitely gone for those and completely arrested my progress, maybe even gone backward and would have been sicker and more unhappy and it would have taken me that much longer to heal. Instead, by turning to the sweets that were compliant, it gave me an interim measure where I could eat something that was still going to support my anti-candida diet journey. It was going to allow me to keep going, allow me to keep working on the emotional eating and get better and better and better over the years without really throwing away my progress. And that's the point I'm trying to make with you guys today is that to me it seems much better to have those sweet treats on hand. If you feel like eating them, eat them because you know you're not wrecking your diet and then continue to work on those things that are causing you to crave the treats that you know you shouldn't have. So how does this relate to the holidays where people ask, should I eat sweet treats? Well, my answer is yes, by all means eat sweet treats, but just make sure they are the sweet treats that you have created that you know fit well with your program that are going to support your health and support your anti-candida diet. How can you do that? I got 850 recipes on my blog for free for you, but I also wanted to tell you about the Black Friday sale that I'm having starting um, today. It goes until November 26th. 2018. So if you're watching this after the 26th, I'm sorry, you'll have to wait till the doors open again, but unbelievable prices on my two most popular programs, the Candida Kickstart and the Sweet Life Membership Club. And so if you're still looking for foods that can totally satisfy that need for sweet treats, but you don't want to wreck your diet, that's the place to go. The Candida Kickstart is for people starting out, gives you the whole diet protocol and, and sort of walks you through the beginning steps so that you can continue on on your own. And the sweet life is for anybody who's already done a candida diet. Maybe like me, you did it a while ago. And what happened to me in 2009, I had a relapse. I had to start all over again. I knew what I was in for, but I just felt like I don't want to do that same thing over again. That boring food, I can't handle it. And that's where I started creating recipes that were delicious and that made the anti-candida diet feel like normal eating. So that's what the sweet life is for. It's ongoing recipes every month plus unbelievable support in our private group and live Q and A's with me where you can get all your questions answered plus a whole bunch of other support. I'll let you go take a look at the page. So I'm going to leave the link to the Black Friday page just below. If you Google Ricky Heller Black Friday sale 2018, it will come up for you, but I'll leave the link below in the comments below. So take a look there and grab these deals if this is something that will be useful to you. So whatever um, you're doing for the holidays, I hope that you have a really fabulous time. I hope you do choose foods that are going to continue to support your health and your body and that you think about why is it that I'm, why is it that I'm craving this and what can you do instead? Because there are options out there. There are ways to just breeze through the holidays, literally breeze through. I, I'm, and I'm not exaggerating without the stress, without worrying about what you're going to eat and still enjoy every single thing that you have that's a treat and that's a holiday special dish, it can be done. So I, that's what I want for you. I want you to really not stress about it, not worry about what you're going to eat, have fabulous food, enjoy your time with family and friends and have a great holiday. Okay, everybody, I hope that was useful. If it was, please do give it a thumbs up and more importantly, share this with somebody who you think could benefit from this information, particularly if they want to grab that Black Friday sale before the 26th. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.